Hello my love. So today we're going to do a beautiful soul alignment and abundance activation. So what you're going to experience me doing is a lot of speaking in light language. I'm going to be sending beautiful rays of light to your frequency. And this is going to allow your frequency to expand and open up and rise and ascend and it's going to give you more access to your soul truth so now i invite you to close your eyes of course if you're not driving close your eyes sit back and relax and we're going to do once again a nice soul alignment and abundance activation Sinking down, placing your feet on the ground if you can, really grounding into your body. Really accessing your beautiful field with your permission, of course. You can just say out loud, I accept. And with that, we begin sending beautiful rays of light from Sophia Christ Consciousness, the feminine Christ energy, straight to you, straight to your soul, straight to all of your chakras. Take a deep breath in. Let it go. And now I'm going to take you into your heart chakra. And I just invite you to tap on your heart chakra very gently and easily. And as you're receiving, you're tapping this beautiful frequency of love in your heart chakra. Surya Maya Kaya 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 and feel that frequency in your body. And just expanding that frequency. Shuya tara shuya tara shuya tara shuya tara shu. And now we're going to do some beautiful soul chats. And these beautiful soul chats are inviting you to clear and release resistance and fear and doubt and scarcity, anything holding you back from your infinite truth. So if you start to feel energy that feels like you're purging or releasing or you feel some density, it's just because your soul is it's kind of giving your whole being the permission to go, okay, I don't need that anymore. It's important to understand with light language, it's the direct connection to your soul. It's our direct language. And earlier I explained it like this. For example, say that you are Italian and you move to America and you're just starting to learn English, but you're pretty, you know, obviously you speak Italian. So someone in English tries to explain to you and you just don't get it. It's like something's not clicking. You're like, I don't know, please slow down. I just can't get it. I just don't understand. I'm new to this. Excuse me. Sorry. Right? Light language is the same way. So light language is your soul language. So when you're receiving these codes, maybe someone's speaking you speaking to you in English and they're saying, you have this, you got this, you're strong, you're infinite, but it doesn't translate nothing it doesn't integrate but then when you come with light language and we speak to you in the space of your powerful soul your being of light we invite you to rise we invite you to remember your infinite truth How good does that feel? 
because I'm receiving it as I'm speaking it. And my soul's like, yeah, that's what it's about. So we're going to do some more soul chats with you. So just receive. And some of you that speak light language will be able to translate this. And feel free if you do, feel free to drop what you've, you know, received down in the chat. And for those of you that don't speak light language, you'll, you'll still feel it with your soul. But the... What's coming through is really inviting your soul to give your, your whole being, your human existence, the, the permission to rise. A lot of times, you know, we're souls here to learn lessons and activate and expand and jump on our soul path. But there are cycles and patterns and, you know, lessons that we're here to learn. So sometimes our human feels more comfortable learning that lesson for a hundred times rather than, you know, evolving. So what we're saying right here, right now is why not evolve? Why not finish that lesson and move to the next one? Why not allow your life to get so good, so juicy, so amazing? You know, it's like we're, we're calling you in the space to know Hello, beautiful soul. A part of your journey is not only for yourself, but it's it's for you to rise for humanity and help other beautiful souls that, you know, have maybe lost their way or are looking for direction. You know, we're inviting you to rise so that they can find you and that you can help them grow and expand as you evolve because we are on an ever evolving journey. It will never end. But it's always important to know that, you know, as mission souls here, we've come so deeply to share our truth, share our gifts, share our reality, share what makes us us, share, just share. And I, I want to, I want to, I want to share this with you because before I jumped on this video to record it, I was placing this beautiful flower in my hair and I said, whoa, it's too big. That That is too big. I got to take some off of it. And then what I immediately thought was, why would you ever take something away from something so beautiful? And that was just a direct reflection of me. I was like, wow, no, I'm going to leave the flower just as big as it desires to be because I get to also be just as big as I desire to be and you get to be just as big as you desire to be and it will be okay, right? But immediately I thought, well, this is too big. And then I was like, wait, no, it's beautiful. It's, it's never too big. It's gorgeous. I have a whole beautiful uh, vase of flowers and I have my sweet inner child in the flowers, you know, giving her that abundance, giving her that love, just like filling her up with this beautiful feminine energy as well. So I hope this flower reflected something to you. It felt like a lot of you needed to hear it. This is a beautiful divine soul song for some of you out here and we're going to do a couple soul songs so you're going to know when it's your soul song and some of you might be connected to multiple soul songs because you might be in transition between one soul song and the other so just receive That was the first soul song and first soul chat. Here's number two. Woo! That is ancestrally ancient wisdom coming through from my beautiful souls out here get at it get at it and rise (laughs) 
And it just feels like some of you really need this gentle energy just to kind of like lay your head down on the pillow and relax. A lot of you are going through trans, just like transformative upgrades and, and you're resisting them because you're feeling like you have to push, 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 push. But, you know, there's this en energy of surrender, surrender surrender to this next level surrender to these upgrades surrender and and flow with the universe flow with god and and allow your path to be defined with light and love and abundance so we're going to do one more soul song but we're going to do it after the abundance activation are you ready take a deep breath in And we invite you to take a beautiful, just deep breath in. And pay attention to how all this is feeling. Like really connect with it. Like what is this calling me forward to do, to receive, to be? Who am I? That's a question for some of you. Who am I? Another question for some of you is, when will I allow myself to shine in my purest spiritual gifts? Going back to the rose, it's never too big. It's never too big. It's never too big. It's never too much. Now we're going into the third soul song. Take a deep breath in. I'm very curious. Drop down in the comments too. Which one was your soul song? One, two, three. Ooh, that was powerful. That was powerful. My whole body is like... Phew. And the beautiful thing is some of you took every soul song and you upgraded. Some of you just needed one, but some of you needed all three to upgrade. And that's why we did the activation, the abundance activation before we went into the last one. There's an invitation of being gentle with yourself, of loving on yourself, of being passionate about your life, being passionate about loving you and loving what you desire and loving what you're manifesting and loving what you're calling in, loving the people around you. Where can you express more love today? Where can you rise today? And I will tell you this, every morning I, I stick my nose in the, the, the roses and I also do this on my walks. If I ever see any flowers or roses, I take them in. Because living in the present is powerful. Yes, we can manifest the most amazing you know, present and future, but ground back here. So the last thing that I want to say is when it comes to light language, when it comes to speaking this profound gift that your soul has come to speak, 
I invite you not to take it lightly. Because the more that you understand the power of light language and what it can do for humans, what it can do for the soul expansion, you will never look back. I have a gift. I have a gift to speaking to you deeper than you can speak to yourself, which I feel is pretty amazing. As a guide here on earth, as a projector, as a mentor, I desire this gift. Because if I could only see what you could see, then I wouldn't be able to help you expand and grow. But my biggest gift that I came in was to see beyond what you can see so that I can help you rise into your greatness. So if you are someone with this coding, which you know who you are, I want you to fall back in love with being able to help people rise and grow and evolve. I invite you to fall back in love with being able to see beyond what people can see. And this has always been a gift. Whenever I meet anyone, I see them. I hear them. I see their greatness. And it, it makes me so happy that not only do I get to see their greatness, but I get to help them rise into their greatness when, in their greatness, when they are ready. And I understand that. And it's important to understand that as a mentor because everyone doesn't want to rise into their greatness right now. There are some people that are still in step one that just want to be seen, that just want to be heard, that just want to be valued. Speaking of their greatness is insane, right? They're just like, I just want to feel good. So it's important to acknowledge that as a coach, to help them rise in the best way possible that you can. So with that said, there are two beautiful spots left for my VIP coaching. And if you have been interested in just kind of going on a deep evolution of your greatness. This, these invitations are just for the, the souls that want to really activate their greatness. Like Melissa, it is time. So if you are interested in activating your greatness and seeing, you know, seeing and going beyond what you're currently experiencing and really penetrating the field of expansion for yourself and humanity, then I invite you to send me a DM and just say VIP, and then when you send me that DM, I'm going to tune in with my beautiful team and I'm going to ask how we can serve you and guide you and lead you deeper into your greatness. And once again, I, I also want you to acknowledge if you're ready for this, then it's 100% for you. And if you're just merging into a, a higher version of you, that's still divine. <sighs> Take a deep breath in. I love you, love you, love you. And then for those of you that are so called and enamored with speaking light language, being quantum healers and channels, I invite you into the Light Language Academy. Our live round is starting October 26th. So if you would like to be a part of that, it's a six month powerful journey. We are at the end of next year in September. We have a beautiful light language summit in San Diego, California that we'll all come together and meet at. And then beyond that, I also offer my beautiful light language retreats. There's one left in Bali. If you want that spot, claim it. And then beyond that, I have Sedona and I have Hawaii. And just to mention anyone that buys the Hawaii retreat, I do, uh, I am donating funds to Maui to help them rebuild as well from that retreat. That's it. How are you feeling? Let me know in the comments how you're feeling. I feel so at peace. I feel like just like, this is my soul work, so I feel very at home doing this. And I I know that <laughs> a lot of you that speak light language are looking for that space to feel at home in offering these services. And the more that you get to know it and understand it, you're you're gonna find the purity of it and you'll be speechless at what you can do. That's all I can say. One last soul chat. Pay attention to your frequency over the next couple of days. 
pay attention to your guides, your angels, because they're trying to help you expand and grow and evolve. Pay attention to the beautiful signs and synchronicities in your life because we all love those. And if you are seeing angel numbers rapidly, consistently, make sure to be looking those up because they have messages for you as well. I love you. Have a beautiful day. It's I feel so good doing this. That like I don't even want to stop recording, but it feels like we're complete. It feels like we'll make another video to help talk more about light language and the the connection with your soul but we're complete for today i love you bye my loves shoo, 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 shoo.